My name is Kirsten McLeod and in this presentation I will discuss Film for Gender, a practice-led impact and engagement project for which I am PI, funded by the Arts and Humanities Research Council and the Global Challenges Research Fund. This project ran across 2020 and continues into 2021. The project has worked with academic partners and community-based filmmakers across the Pacific region to produce short films that support gender equality and highlight local community-led responses to gender-based violence. Produced during the global COVID-19 pandemic, the films also document the impact of local restrictions on people's lives, and especially for women. At present, we have produced a collection of seven short films from six Pacific countries, Papua New Guinea, Bougainville Island, Solomon Islands, Tuvalu, Fiji and Samoa. Film for Gender is a collaboration between UK and Pacific institutions and I've worked closely with partners Jacqueline Ryle at the University of the South Pacific, Ramona Boudou Singh at the National University of Samoa, Lily Saar at the University of Goroka and Tony Crook at the University of St Andrews. Film for Gender builds on a range of previous Pacific and European events, networking and publications led by Tony Crook from the Centre for Pacific Studies at the University of St Andrews. These events brought together Pacific filmmakers who work with communities, with academics, policymakers, government representatives, stakeholders and NGOs. And the aim has been to interrogate how participatory and community-based filmmaking can be effective in contributing to positive social change, where traditional development and policy methods have failed. At a 2019 gathering in Fiji of filmmakers, academics and NGOs, there was a consensus to form a consortium that could validate and give visibility to filmmakers and this approach to filmmaking in relation to tackling gender-based violence. Film for Gender grew out of this symposium and an emerging network of filmmakers and stakeholders concerned with gender-related issues. Gender inequality in the Pacific is a serious challenge requiring culturally sensitive development approaches to support and drive social change. The prevalence of violence against women in the Pacific region is amongst the highest in the world, whilst women's parliamentary participation is among the lowest. Across the region, policy strategies and initiatives have been put in place, but there has been poor progress towards gender equality over several decades. Film for Gender is the first project of the Pacific Community Filmmakers Consortium to consolidate a network of Pacific community-based filmmakers whose work opens up alternative routes to understand and influence gender inequality in the Pacific by enabling communities to respond to gender inequality through filmmaking in their own cultural terms. The project supports Pacific filmmakers and has produced films that address gender inequality in vernacular terms and with local participation and frames of reference. The project and the films can be seen as multi-layered, locally embedded and culturally sensitive approaches to achieving gender-based policy objectives. The project has produced a slate of short films and which have been collected as a feature-length film – held in-person and online events and screenings, and created a consortium website and YouTube channel which showcase the work and increases the filmmaker's visibility. As locals, our filmmakers work closely with communities to understand the issues of gender inequality and gender-based violence. Participatory approaches value the process of filmmaking and the power of participation, as well as the effectiveness of sharing and showing films made with local participation, and ultimately how these combine to be vehicles for supporting local change. The approach to managing this project has mirrored that of a decolonising approach to research. By that I mean I acknowledge that the funding and academic system supporting it is Eurocentric, but through the project we have aimed to foreground Pacific partners, Pacific ways of working, Pacific epistemologies and to be conscious of the prejudice and biases that slow down and hinder genuine agency for our Pacific partners. The project has been based on partnerships and relationships with co-eyes and filmmakers, 
flexible project management and working globally and locally and with patients during a pandemic. The filmmakers had to adapt differently to local COVID restrictions and which led some of them to make their films about the impact of these restrictions on local communities. The Film for Gender project hasn't advocated or promoted one specific toolkit approach to community filmmaking, but rather it recognises the importance of sustaining and building capacity among local Pacific filmmakers. And it's important that films and filmmakers are given the respect and autonomy to construct narratives relevant to local circumstances, and the project steered clear of imposing restrictions on style or format. We premiered the films at a range of in-person screenings in Fiji, Goroka, the Solomon Islands and Samoa in December 2020 during 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. These events were open to members of the public as well as invited NGO and government stakeholders. We also screened the film and held events online. Local screenings are continuing across this year and we will be submitting for film festivals and local broadcasting. As I mentioned, we have created a website profiling the filmmakers and their films with links to a consortium YouTube page. Two of the films have been particularly successful online with Weaving the Streets from Fiji about a trans woman's uh, life story recording over 800 views and Heroin from Sukwadi Media in the Solomon Islands recording over 17,000 views on the filmmaker's YouTube page. We had aimed to develop training and mentoring workshops at the start of the project in 2020 across the Pacific. However, because of COVID, this was impossible. Instead, we are creating a second slate of films demonstrating the filmmakers' different approaches to practice, which will sit on the Consortium website by November 2021. Inevitably, the pandemic has had a significant impact on our project, restricting in-person screenings and certainly the scope of workshops and gatherings we had initially envisaged. However, the slide to online distribution and viewings has become part of what we are now, and as we move forward, we're working to develop that capacity via the website and also social media. I'd like to say something now about the films and the filmmakers. Strong Pella Mary, or Strong Woman, was produced by Lily Saar and her team at the Centre for Social and Creative Media at the University of Goroka. The film highlights the resilience of women in and around Goroka in the eastern highlands of Papua New Guinea during the 28-day national COVID-19 lockdown in 2020, providing food for their families and as table mamas selling produce in the streets. I'm lockdown. So how and why am I come? And me a story lately cause them. Me plus a player. Me plus have a logo buy me to the market na ham. Salim. Salim a child the table. So plus Lily line that's all. So one player, two player, all round. All sour, all same. All cake penis, but all sour, all same. House no player. Smoke fire in a kirab. And all sour, all same. This house no got cake blood. So all come here, all taking me player. Taking me player na up, go, go. All the cake be in a put him. From the Market to the Parliament by Bougainville filmmaker Lainey Munau focuses on women community leaders and the effects of COVID-19 restrictions in Arawa on Bougainville Island. The film explores local women's responses to the restrictions imposed in Arawa during the 2020 pandemic and how women emerged as leaders during this time. Market blow me player as a calm good start. Especially me play the single mothers we live on market. The only way to get the school fees is market. That's where we get money. Now this lab that's all me plus sexy money, now go to house sick too. Time to kill me sick. Now me plus a market good through. Me plus I kiss in big play in calm lo this lab. Now market and close. Me plus to stop. Te ala kite mai. A Path to Violence, was produced and directed and filmed by Tuvalu filmmaker Tala Simeti. It looks at domestic violence through the story of a young Tuvaluan couple who live in a traditional setting. Resilience was produced in Samoa by Ramona Budu Singh, working with filmmaker Corso Sisi Alafia, 
The documentary examines the impact of the COVID pandemic on Samoans and everyday life. To cover costs of living, Samoans are turning more and more to their relatives who live abroad. The film Heroin is produced by Sukwadi Media in the Solomon Islands and directed by Anouk Ride. The short drama aims to make people think about attitudes towards gender through the story of police responses to men and women in trouble. The force you have, you have to help me. He's, he's going to kill me. Okay, calm down. He's... Think about it. Weaving the Streets by Fiji filmmaker Larry Thomas tells the story of Rani, a trans woman growing up in a Fijian village and the struggle and suffering she has faced, leaving home while still in high school to working the streets as a sex worker and an advocate for trans rights. My ups and downs, I've cried a lot. I've loved more and I love being myself. My advice to parents with trans children would be to accept them, understand them and love them. Two further films from Tonga and Samoa are close to completion and we've also shared as part of the Film for Gender platter the film Wanam Ia Foss by Vanuatu Theatre Company One Small Bag on the issue of sexual consent aimed at school children. The films reflect a diverse range of...